For many people, this is the lasting image of Saltair Resort. Battered by the rising waters of the Great Salt Lake, it has been closed since the spring of 1984. Visitors like Kurt Haley have been hoping someone could restore the resort to its original glory. Many Utahns remember dancing on Saltair's famous floor during World War II. Haley remembers going there as a young teenager in the 1950s. Uh, I still remember the old roller coaster. Uh, and it was built out of those big telephone poles. I imagine it must have been four or five stories high, maybe bigger. To me, it seemed that big in the air. Um, we'll be having the camel rides here to the right of the building, behind the tower most likely. That's right. Camel rides are just one attraction the new owners plan when they reopen Salt Air at the end of May. High-tech go-karts and bumper boats will also operate in front of the building. In just six to eight weeks, developers hope to transform this into Salt Air number four, opening 100 years after the original resort. Structurally, it's all right. I'm sorry, what? Structurally, it's all right. But uh, decorative stuff in the, is ruined, so. Crews had to haul out three feet of dirt and sediment the waves had brought in over the past decade. Inside, they will build a gift shop and restaurants. Concerts for audiences of 2,000 are already planned for this summer. Actually, the dance floor will be the whole thing, but this, I think, is more where the bands are going to play. Um, there'll be a stage that goes in there. The new owners are banking on the Great Salt Lake's continued popularity to bring people out. Only Temple Square tops the lake as the most visited tourist attraction in the valley. I believe last year they had about 1.2 million people visit the lake right in this area here. And the building wasn't open. There's just a couple of uh, trolley or train cars right here, souvenir shops that have been open. And uh, the, the lake, people come to Utah and they want to see the lake. And uh, we're just making an incredible place for them to, to come to now. Trucks will bring in tons of sand near the water and back to create white beaches. With a new roof and high hopes, the Coney Island of Utah plans yet another new life from the ashes. Deborah Lindner, KSL News, Salt Air.